And on a wet and wild night here on the south coast, Southampton will be hoping to avoid the sort of storm that Shrewsbury have handed out to many good sides in the last few years in the FA Cup. Southampton have possession. My notes are flying everywhere in the wind. It's going to be one of those nights, I can tell. Sent forward and given away by Southampton, but it won back by Shane Long. Little ball to Watts. Southampton trying to attack and a save in the end, and he's near post from Sarkic. Shot from a narrow angle. And Caleb Watts making a, a strong start. One save for either keeper so far in the first quarter of an hour of this game in the FA Cup. Sarkic tipping over Vokin's effort at the near post. Always had it covered. And forces there. A slant and go long early. Try and get the ball up towards Unlundalu, who shoots low and it's going to dribble almost past Sarkic. The Shrewsbury players complain to the referee looking for a handball. And Lundalu celebrates his first goal for Southampton on his first start. The 21-year-old striker. Simon Hooper is just wandering across the pitch. I'm not sure if we've got the VAR here. We should have. I've got a monitor here. Apparently we've got a VAR referee. Some FA, came, FA Cup games have them and some don't. And there wasn't a big appeal from Shrewsbury for a handball. And... Um, and Lundelu in the end, he shot that rather rather scuffed pass, Sarkic. Well, that build-up has come from a beautiful delivery from Ward Prowse over the top of the uh, the left centre-back. It's dropped down and Lundelu's picked it up and uh, he struck that on the turn with his right foot. Yep. And it is given, finally. And if anybody likes VAR, there's nothing more anti-climactic than the VAR waiting for a goal. So Shrewsbury, not overawed, Dave, no doubt about it. 29 minutes gone, 1-0. But they haven't... Uh... Well, the, the, to be honest, Adam, you, you've got uh, 29 minutes on the clock, 30 minutes. Now, so... Udo's done well. He's found Wally, left-hand edge of the box, tries to curl it past Forster. <laughs> Educated effort from Wally with his right foot. Never was coming back in close enough to test the former England goalkeeper. But uh, there you go, Dave. Up to Udo, just nod down, two strikers working together. It was half a chance. Yeah, I mean, it's been a good game so far, Adam, and uh, in fairness to Shrewsbury, they've not looked overawed, they've not been frightened to play, and when they've got a chance to get forward, they've, they've really tried to, uh, to to get at the at the goal of Southampton. 1-0 to Southampton, but a corner for Shrewsbury, their first of the game. 12 minutes to half-time on the home of Life Sport across the south. This could be dangerous, whipped in. Towards the back of the six-yard area. Good defensive header from Shane Long. Got it away. I thought it was a nice delivery from Worley. She's going to come back out to him on the left as the ball back in. This is a chance. Curls it and Forster has to tip it away. Still in play, but a flag's gone up for offside. But Worley got that one right. This time, Dave, coming off the left onto his right foot. And Forster extended with that left hand. Yeah, it was offside. And, uh, but as he's tucked in on his right, he's had a little pop at him and... Uh, He's, uh, I mean, Foster's a big lad and he's, he's got to go full stretch to get that. Just think they're a bit scared to gamble, aren't they, Dave? Yeah, they're just they're trying to hang in there. We'll see. Trying to break now and get numbers up and that's a good yeah, that's, ball. That's where the right. they want to be. Nice ball from Norburn to Chapman. 25 yards out, approaching the penalty area. In it now on the right and then slices the shot off that's, his right foot. That's exactly what I was saying, Adam. If they've got a man that little bit higher up the field, they've got an extra out. Where they've only got one out with undo... When you've got someone else further up the field, like you had there with Chapman, it'll it'll give them a better opportunity. They're just not getting to support their striker quick enough. Now, poor ball from Saints, and Chapman, surrounded by players, loses out. He's trying to find an outlet beneath us on this right touchline. Watts tackled him, and Southampton have it 30 yards from goal. And Lundelu, back to Chalk, out to the right to Valerie again. Now, trying, can he line up Scott Goldborn? Valerie tries to cross. Goldborn uses his experience, blocks it and it's out for a Southampton corner. Southampton looking to put the game to bed with a second goal in the last half an hour. Shrewsbury looking to take the game to extra time. An understated performance from Simon Hooper so far, which I like in refs. I think uh, from a Southampton point of view, they've just got to make sure they manage the game out. You know, they've got about uh, 30 minutes left. Yeah, I mean, that's all, he, that's all he's wanted, the manager. He's made as many changes as he can. He's given some debuts to players. If he gets a win, they get experience and it's through you go. As long as there, Sarkic parries a thigh from Stevens. It wasn't really a shot, but it's the first time a corner's looked effective for Southampton. 
it was whipped in to the near post, Long uh, flicked it with his head back and Stevens, probably Dave, just couldn't shape his body, should have scored, but that's the first time Ward Prowse's delivery has really troubled Shrewsbury. Yeah, it was a good reaction save from the goalkeeper as well. Yeah, definitely. Never lost at home to Shrewsbury in any game, Southampton in history. They've played in the FA Cup, the League Cup, the old Division 3. It's the 10th match between them in Southampton over history. And of course, the last time, I think me and thee were here, Dave. Yeah. An FA Cup tie, 2010, when Southampton were in League One. They won 2 0, but they needed two injury time goals from David Connolly and Adam Lalana to give them the win then as Ward Prowse with a great switch of play out to Vokings deep in the Shrewsbury half back in field safe from Sarkic and it didn't go over the line the referee waiting for a decision in the end that might have been brilliant defending from Aaron Pierre I think it who didn't got back there over to me, no well it's not being given either by Hawkeye so Shrewsbury will try and break Worley in field has uh, Norburn then and back inside his own half brilliant defending from Dan and Lundaloo, the goal scorer, the big striker, nicked it away from him. Now Caleb Watts, a teenager, gets a free kick. Didn't need to do that, Shiloh Tracy, because he had the kid under pressure. That was good play, that from Vea Vorkins, Adam, coming down, yeah. overlapping and overloading the left-hand side, and Pierre, giving Shrewsbury a real problem. Armstrong again skips away from the tackle, this time Vellas. Jankovic, nice ball to Vokins in the box. Vokins beats one tackle, almost beats Williams' tackle. Williams hung in there and eventually Shrewsbury clear it and they'll try and break now. And sent down the right-hand side by Pike. Good recovery work from Diallo. Got between him and the ball and won it back. And then Ward-Prowse calmly plays it back to Stevens. But the way Snampton are going, Dave, they're trying to play out the 1-0 win here at the moment. Shrewsbury keeping them on their toes, that's for sure. 87th minute. That's a good play from Southampton. Worked it nicely. Vokins with the early ball. Vokins to Shea Adams to finish it. Adams round the keeper. Sarkic beaten, but he hits the ball against Pierre, who clears it off the line for the second time. And then Jankovic's follow-up shot is blocked brilliantly by Tracy. And it's a corner to Southampton. It remains 1-0. Well, Southampton should have killed the game off there. Adams is through. He's got his score. And... Uh, He's, I think he should have put that in with his left foot at him. He's gone round the keeper to the left. He's just got to whip it across the face of the goal and have a go at it. As he's pulled it back in, it gives Shrewsbury a chance to get back and block him. Outswinging corner for Ward Prowse, headed away comfortably by Shrewsbury. No challenge. And then Jankovic picks it up. Good ball, skips it inside. And they're looking for a 1 2 Saints, but fouled off the ball was Diallo. Dave Edwards says, I didn't touch him. But it's a free kick to Southampton in a dangerous position. They've got the ball where they want it in the final two minutes near the Shrewsbury penalty area. Four-man wall. The ball three yards outside the penalty area on the left. Ward-Prowse is going to have a go at this. Curls it and it's gone in for the second. And that does finish the game. And that's a fourth direct free kick of the season for James Ward-Prowse. He's 10th in a Southampton shirt. And he snuck it into the near post. Sarkic bumbled it over the line almost. Half the people here thought it hit the side netting. But the game is now over. Southampton will play Arsenal at St Mary's here on Saturday lunchtime. And Shrewsbury Town's brave effort in the third round here comes to an end. And Lundlew under this high ball down this left wing for Stampton, tussling with Ebanks Landell, then Roshan Williams tussling with Jankovic. Jankovic wins. He's played well, Dave, since he's come on in the short time. A lot of fans very excited about Alex Jankovic, Dave. Here he is on the ball again. Only 16, Dave. And then Adams turns it down to the right for Valerie. Could be three. Valerie tries to turn it onto his left foot. Great tackle. I have to say, Dave, Sean Worley, back there by his own six-yard area, 33-year-old striker making a tackle on Valerie in stoppage time on a night like this. It's a great effort from the defender. Do you know what, Adam? I think it's terrific to see. I mean, the young boy on the ball again here. Yeah, here's Lundalundalu. Jankovic going on his outside and Lundalundalu's, uh, frankly, converted it on the rugby pitch for three points. It's in the stands. And Simon Hooper says that is enough. No shortage of effort and organisation from Shrewsbury Town. But Southampton go into the fourth round of the FA Cup.